Since that last video, I've learned so much on 3D modeling, so in this video, I'm going to tell you about all the stuff I've learned. But first, the intro. Just to recap, I found a website called The Models Resources. It has models from different video games. I was I was fully convinced to try 3D modeling after finding Brighton and Twyla. I do all the 3D modeling on Blender, something I use for animations, and I wasn't an expert. Well now, I'll have you know that I have downloaded more than 30 different models now. Characters, objects, locations, you name it. Most of the characters didn't have a bone structure. For those that don't know, a character needs a bone structure to move around and stuff. So after watching some videos like I did before, I finally figured out how to make a bone structure for characters that don't have one. The first character I did experiments on was a character named Gur. He is from a show called Invader Zim. I've never watched the show, but it's a show my sister likes and Gur is her favorite character. Luckily, I found a 3D model of Gur, but he didn't have a bone structure. It took a very long time but I made a full working bone structure for him. Then it hit me. If I can make a full working bone structure for Gur, then I can make one for Twyla. I mentioned this in my last video, but with Brighton and Twyla, Brighton had a bone structure, but Twyla didn't, so I copied the one that Brighton had and put the copied one on Twyla. This honestly didn't work too well. While I was able to make Twyla move, she was very limited to what she could do, and she was very hard to work with. So anyway, after fixing Gur, I told myself, do Twyla next, and that's just what I did. So, here are the results. Yes, I know, it looks weird and I'm probably doing a lot of things wrong. But this was the best I could do. I had to add a lot of bone structures to her head because if I move her, she would either, she would either come apart or her eyes would come off. And we don't want that to happen. So adding so many bones prevents these from happening. So yeah, now Twyla can move a lot easier now. Wait a minute, I'm sure you're wondering about Yoshi, aren't you? Well, I fixed him too. You see, whenever I used Yoshi, his eyes looked weird. So here's what I did. Each of the models have textures. The textures are all the colors for the characters. That's the best way I could describe it. So when I looked at the textures for Yoshi, I noticed that his eye texture had no color on it. So I opened the texture on Metabang. Metabang is one of those things I use to draw pictures. I opened the eye texture and just colored it all white. So did it work? Yes. Yes it did. Look at Yoshi. I also did this with Rosalina. She was a little harder, but it worked for her too. Except Olimar. I still don't know how to fix him. What are some other things I've learned? Well, I've learned how to change Filbert's expressions. It's very easy, but it's hard to describe how I do it. But the way I change Filbert's expressions, I can do this with other Animal Crossing characters too. By the way, this is Katie, and she's one of my new favorite characters. Also, I found the froggy chair on the model's resources. Don't believe me? Here's Twyla dusting a froggy chair. You know, I wasn't finished talking about Brighton and Twyla. They're some of my most favorite characters, and I use them a lot in my 3D experiments. I've experimented with the characters themselves. Like, one thing I've learned is that I can have Twyla hold different objects if I wanted her to. Like the froggy chair picture you saw earlier, she was holding a duster. She can also hold a net, a Wii remote, a Pepsi can. Now what if I don't want her holding something? Well, I tried to add on to the bone structure, but that didn't go so well. So for now, I guess she'll have to be like this. An experiment for another day. But on the bright side, I've actually found out that Brighton and Twilight can open their mouths. And I know they can do that because you can actually see it in the actual game. How did I figure this out? Well, I was messing around with Blender and Brighton was one of the characters I was using and I thought to myself, I wonder if I can move his mouth. And it worked. So I did a lot of pictures of Brighton and Twilight and they look so much more expressive now. Here's one of the pictures I did. This honestly is the cutest thing I've put together. You might be seeing this picture in more of my videos. Brighton and Twyla approve this video. Also, yes, that is the Peach's Castle demo you see in the background. With so much knowledge of 3D modeling, I could do so many cool things. You want to see Filbert with an Invader Zim trophy? There you go. You want to see Brighton and Twyla meeting Tumble? There you go. You want to see Filbert, Brighton, and Twyla ride Plessy? I have that too. None of the Super Smash games have a trophy of Brighton and Twyla. Well, here's one. Now, do you want to see Brighton and Twyla with a froggy chair while Filbert and Poppy are standing on cows? 
Yes, I got that too. Here's some other cool stuff I've put together. Well, that's all I could talk about for this video. I'll be trying some more 3D modeling experiments and maybe make some of my own. Well, if I've already started on that, look at this house I'm working on. Well, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching, go have some fun, and be safe online. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.